Oh. I said no. Get, get, so your get out of my house. This is my house. house. Right. She must be so used to saying that in Hazelhurst. Hey guys, this is Michael. Uh, just want to quickly make this video to inform the public that I'm not in any social media platform right now. The reason why I left Angie house is because, I mean, it's very, very sad. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm an unwanted guest. Like, I, I wasn't treated like I'm an husband. I Did you video. tell my daughters all women are stupid? So what do you expect me to teach you? So I tend to, you know, keep it cool. To be honest, I was, I was scared. You know, sometimes when she's very upset, you know, mm. she made me feel scared. Welcome back. Angela Deem and Michael Ilisami's tumultuous relationship, as showcased on 90 Day Fiancé, has always been a subject of intense scrutiny, with fans often left debating who was at fault for their many explosive arguments. The story of Angela burning Michael's clothes in a fit of rage after he attempted to leave her due to what he described as extreme abuse is just one more chapter in their roller coaster of a relationship. A relationship that has left Michael feeling more like a dependent than a husband. From the beginning, Angela has been known for her fiery temper and domineering personality. What started as a quirky, no-nonsense attitude quickly escalated into something much more volatile. Angela's frequent outbursts, often characterized by shouting and screaming, have become a hallmark of their relationship. These outbursts are not reserved for major disagreements, but occur over even the smallest of issues, things that most married couples would discuss calmly and work through together. However, in Angela and Michael's case, calm discussions seem to be a rarity. Michael, on the other hand, has consistently been portrayed as the more patient and understanding partner, often seen begging Angela to calm down and work things out. Despite his efforts to maintain peace and harmony in their marriage, it seems that Angela has never truly tried to make the relationship work. Instead, she has chosen to use her anger as a weapon, a way to assert control and dominance over Michael, who is already in a vulnerable position as an immigrant in a foreign country. The dynamic between Angela and Michael is one that is heavily imbalanced. Angela, with her brash personality and American citizenship, holds a significant amount of power in the relationship, a power that she seems all too willing to wield over Michael. Michael, on the other hand, finds himself in a position where he is constantly trying to appease Angela, often at the expense of his own happiness and dignity. This power imbalance has only been exacerbated by Angela's newfound fame as a reality TV star. Since appearing on 90 Day Fiancé, Angela has become something of a household name, with a legion of fans who both love and loathe her in equal measure. But with this fame has come a shift in priorities. Angela is said to have chosen her newfound celebrity status over her marriage, focusing more on maintaining her public image than on making things work with Michael. This has left Michael feeling even more isolated and unimportant in the relationship, as anything he asks of her is met with resistance or outright refusal. Angela's behavior has left Michael feeling more like a dependent than a husband, a sentiment that has only grown stronger as the relationship has progressed. He is in a country that is not his own, away from his family and friends, and reliant on Angela not only for emotional support, but also for his immigration status. Yet, despite this, Angela seems unwilling to meet him halfway, often refusing to do even the smallest things he asks of her. This latest incident, where Angela allegedly burned Michael's clothes in a fit of rage, is a culmination of the years of resentment and frustration that have built up between them. For Michael, it may have been the breaking point, the moment where he realized that he could no longer continue in a relationship where he felt more like a burden than a partner. For Angela, it was just another display of her dominance, a way to show Michael that she was in control and that he could not leave her without facing serious consequences. But what led to this point? How did a relationship that once seemed full of potential devolve into such a toxic and abusive dynamic? To understand, we must look back at the history of Angela and Michael's relationship, examining the key moments that have brought them to this breaking point. When Angela and Michael first met, there was an undeniable chemistry between them. Angela, with her larger-than-life personality, was immediately drawn to Michael's charm and wit. Michael, in turn, was captivated by Angela's confidence and strength. Despite the significant age difference between them and the cultural barriers they would have to overcome, they both believed that they could make it work. However, as time went on, the cracks in their relationship began to show. 
Angela's insecurities, particularly about Michael's intentions, began to surface. She often accused him of cheating or being unfaithful, even when there was no evidence to support her claims. These accusations would often lead to heated arguments, with Angela shouting and screaming at Michael, demanding that he prove his loyalty to her. Michael, for his part, would always try to calm Angela down, reassuring her that he was committed to the relationship and had no intention of betraying her trust. But no matter how many times he reassured her, Angela's insecurities remained, leading to a vicious cycle of accusations and arguments. As the relationship progressed, Angela's behavior became increasingly erratic. She would fly off the handle at the slightest provocation, often over things that most couples would consider trivial. For example, if Michael did not answer her calls immediately, she would accuse him of hiding something from her. If he disagreed with her on even the smallest of issues, she would take it as a personal attack and lash out at him. These frequent outbursts took a toll on Michael, who began to feel more and more isolated in the relationship. He found himself constantly walking on eggshells, afraid of setting Angela off and triggering another argument. Despite his efforts to keep the peace, the arguments only seemed to get worse, with Angela becoming more and more aggressive in her behavior. Angela's refusal to address her own issues and work on the relationship only added to the strain. While Michael was willing to go to great lengths to make things work, Angela seemed content to let the relationship spiral out of control. She refused to see a therapist, despite Michael's pleas, and instead continued to use her anger as a way to control him. The power dynamic between them became more pronounced as Angela's fame grew. With her newfound celebrity status, Angela began to prioritize her public image over her relationship with Michael. She was more concerned with how she was perceived by her fans and the media than with making things work with her husband. This shift in priorities only deepened the rift between them, as Michael felt more and more like he was being pushed aside in favor of Angela's career. Angela's fame also brought with it a sense of entitlement. She began to see herself as the star of the relationship, with Michael playing a supporting role. This mindset only served to further erode the trust and respect that should exist between partners. Instead of viewing Michael as an equal, Angela began to see him as someone who was there to serve her needs and desires, rather than as a partner in the relationship. Michael, on the other hand, felt increasingly trapped. He was in a foreign country, far away from his support system, and reliant on Angela not only for emotional support, but also for his immigration status. Despite this, he found himself in a relationship where his needs and desires were constantly being ignored, where he was expected to cater to Angela's every whim without question. The incident where Angela burned Michael's clothes is a stark reminder of the toxic dynamic that has come to define their relationship. It is a clear example of how Angela uses her anger as a weapon, a way to assert control and dominance over Michael. But it is also a sign of how far their relationship has deteriorated, to the point where such an extreme act of aggression is seen as a viable option. For Michael, this may be the moment where he finally decides that enough is enough. He has tried to make things work with Angela, but it has become increasingly clear that she is unwilling or unable to change. The question now is whether Michael will be able to muster the strength to leave the relationship, or if he will continue to stay in a situation that is clearly detrimental to his well-being. Angela, for her part, may not realize the full extent of the damage she has done. She may see her actions as justified, a way to keep Michael in line and prevent him from leaving her. But in reality, her behavior is only pushing him further away, making it less likely that they will be able to salvage their relationship. The future of Angela and Michael's relationship is uncertain, but one thing is clear. If things continue as they have been, it is unlikely that they will be able to sustain a healthy and loving partnership. Both Angela and Michael will need to do some serious soul-searching if they are to have any hope of moving forward together. For Angela, this means acknowledging her own issues and working to address them, rather than taking out her anger on Michael. For Michael, it means recognizing his own worth and refusing to be treated as a subordinate in his own marriage. Only time will tell whether Angela and Michael will be able to overcome their differences and build a stronger relationship. But for now, it seems that they are at a crossroads, with both partners needing to make some difficult decisions about their future together. Thank you for watching.